Hello viewers, this is Wagdaru now taking you through this tutorial on probability theory. And this lesson will be on how to use the probability tree diagram to come up with solutions to conditional events. So probability tree diagram is the commonest way of solving problems concerning conditional events. Now let's consider two events A and B which are conditional. Remember conditional events are events whereby the occurrence of one event depends on the other. That's conditional events. So if event A occurs first and then event B occurs, then it means that we can come up with a tree diagram as shown below. In this case you can get A probability of A or probability of A complement. So I shall draw those two branches one for A, another one for A complement. Now on A complement, we can be followed by B or B complement. Similarly, for A complement can be followed by B or B complement. Remember we say tree diagram helps to solve conditional events. I think I can see this slash. This slash means probability of A given, sorry, probability of B given A has already occurred. You can see probability of B where A has already occurred. And this is probability of B complement given A has already occurred. So you can see B complement, but for this B complement to occur, A has already occurred. Similarly, probability of B given A complement has already occurred. So you can see this is probability of B, but for it to occur, probability of A complement has already occurred. And lastly, B complement given B compl A complement occurred. So B complement is here, but for this B complement to occur, A complement has already occurred. So that's how they draw three diagrams, and with that knowledge, you shall go through the following problems. Problem one says two boxes A and B contain one red, four yellow, and three red, two yellow cards, respectively. In other words, box A contains one red and four yellow cards while box B contains three red and two yellow cards respectively. A box is picked at random, not that word, a box is picked at random and then a card is picked. So you first pick a box, after picking a box you pick a card. Part A, what is the probability that a yellow card is picked? Part B, what is the probability that a red card is picked? And lastly, part C. If a card is picked, sorry, if a red card is picked, what is the probability that it is from box B? So with that, we have to first come up with a sketch of the tree diagram. How a tree diagram will look like. Remember, we have two boxes A and B, so you can either pick box A or you pick box B. After picking box A. You can pick red or yellow card. And also similarly when you pick box B, you can also pick red or yellow card. So let's see how it can be shown. Now we want to see how we can find the probabilities of this tree diagram. So you have two boxes, box A and box B. Box A has four yellow and one red. And box B has three red and two yellow. Now you can either pick box A or box B. Remember probability is event over sample space. So how many boxes are there? We have one, two. So if I pick box A, the probability will be event of this which is one over the total which is two boxes. That's why here you see a half. Same applies to box B. If I pick box B, it will be one over the two boxes which is a half here. So if you go to this, for this branch now, in box A, I can pick red or yellow. So I'll come at box A. If I pick this red, the probability will be how many red cards were there be before, I, before I took it away. It was one. Out of what? Out of five. So you'll come and put one over five as our probability. For yellow, if I pick a yellow card, a yellow card, it means first as you say, how many yellow cards were there? One, two, three, four. Out of how many? Out of five. 
So I'll come here and put 4 over 5. For this branch, it means you are now dealing with box B. And box B is here. This means in box B, I picked a red card. So I come and ask how many red cards are there? 1, 2, 3. Out of, how, out of what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Out of 5. So I'll come and put 3 over 5. Then for yellow, how many are they? 2. Out of what? 5. So the probability will be 2 over 5. So remember, probability is event over sample space. So that's how they can complete the probabilities on, in the tree diagram. So now we can answer the questions which were asked. Part A they asked, what is the probability that a yellow card is picked? So for yellow card, you come and look for where there is yellow. Here there is yellow and here there is yellow. So the probability will be, this yellow comes from this path. So it will be a half times 4 over 5. So come here and write a half times 4 over 5. Plus, there is also another yellow here and it comes from this path. So it will be a half times 2 over 5. Then we'll come and write a half times 2 over 5. So when we multiply this, you'll come up with 2 over 5. Multiply this, you'll come up with 1 over 5. When you add the 2, you'll come up with 3 over 5. And that is the answer they wanted. Part B, they say, asked, what is the probability that a red card is picked? We know that when total probability is always equal to 1. So you can either pick red or yellow. Therefore, when you add the two probabilities, you add up to 1. And we know the probability of being a yellow card is 3 over 5 or 0 0.6. Come and substitute 0 0.6 here. This is what we want. When you sum them up, we will get 1. When you make this the subject, you come up with 0 0.4 as our answer. So that is the probability of picking a red card. Part C, this asks, if a red card is picked, what is the probability that it is from box B? Now notice this word if. If means there is a condition. There is a condition for picking this box B. So in other words, they want the probability of picking a box B given red already occurred. And to be denoted as B slash R. This is box B and this denotes red. And we know that this from conditional probability can be exp expanded as probability of B intersection R over probability of R. So B intersection R will come back on your trade diagram. B is here. R is here. So it will be a half times 3 over 5. So come here and write a half times 3 over 5. Then probability of R is what we got in Roman 2 or part B. It was 0 0.4. So come and substitute 0 0.4 there. When you use a calculator, you come up with 3 over Four, and that is the answer they wanted. We shall now go to problem two. Problem two, they said two balls are picked from a box one at a time with replacement. So notice the two, this word with replacement. Uh, the box contains four red and two black balls. Find the probability that Roman one, the second ball is red, Roman two, both balls are black. So we shall draw, first draw a sketch of our tree diagram. You have here your box. You can either pick red at first or you first pick blue. Sorry, black. After picking red here, you can pick red again or you pick black. After picking black here at first, you can either pick red or black again. Now let's see how this probability tree diagram is filled. So I have my bag. It contains four red and two blue. Two black, so four red and two black. Here I can first pick red. If I'm to first pick red, I'll come. If I'm to pick red here, I'll ask first myself. How many were they? One, two, three, four. So uh, four, I've picked one red. So that's why I'm saying four over six. Six means the total. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the word re replacement, it means after picking, I have to first return it back, then I count, go to the next probability. So when I return it back and go to the next probability here, and I, I will again pick red. Picking red, it means I found when they are 4. That's why here there is still 4 over 6. I return it back. 
if instead I pick black here it means initially the, I found when they have two black so it will be 2 over 6 that is how they fill this branch and this branch what about this branch this branch means I first picked black then I replaced it back now I'm going to pick red I'm going to pick red like that so how many reds are there one two three four so I'll come here and put four over six if instead of picking red I picked black like that how many blacks were there one two so I'll say two over total which is six one two three four five six so that's how they fill the table the tree diagram for sampling with replacement now in Roman 1 they ask for the probability that the second ball is red so you got your tree diagram red is here second ball is red here and here for this one the path taken will be this so we will say 4 over 6 times 4 over 6 come and write 4 over 6 times 4 over 6 another red second red ball is here so the path taken was this and that therefore you come and say 2 over 6 times 4 over 6 come and write 2 over 6 times 4 over 6 when you use a calculator here you come up with 4 over 9 and for this one it will be 2 over 9 then you sum them up you'll get 2 over 3 and that's the probability that the second ball is red Roman 2 they wanted the probability that both balls are black so come here this is means the first ball is black and the second ball is also black so it will be 2 over 6 times 2 over 6 and that will be your answer 2 over 6 times 2 over 6 will give you 1 over 9 and that is the answer they wanted now let's shall go to problem 3 two balls are picked from a box one at a time without replacement so not that here they want it without replacement the box contains four red and two black balls find the probability that Roman 1 the second ball is red and Roman 2 the both balls are black so the sketch will be this this is your box you can first pick red or you first pick black after pick if you first pick red you can either pick red again or you pick black if you first pick black you can either pick red or black again now in this case the sampling is without replacement in other words what you pick at first you don't return it back so we shall see how we can fill this tree diagram so this shows means that you first picked red so come here you want to pick red how many reds are there one two three four so come and write four over the total which is six now you have picked it without replacement means don't return it back now you are remaining with two black and three red after picking red you can either pick red again or black so let's if you pick red again I'll come here one two three reds so it will be three over five if I pick black instead I'll come here and ask, add one two so it will be two over five which is that so that's how they can fill this branch and this branch now let's go to this this one means that you first picked black so let's return this one like that now you're going to first pick black black if I first pick black it will be 2 over 5 sorry how 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 2 over 6 now I've picked it I don't return it there after picking black you can either pick red or black again so let me pick red if I pick red it will be 1 2 3 4 over 5 that's why I put here 4 over 5 if instead I pick black again it will be 1 over 5 which is that so that's how they can fill the probabilities in the tree diagram now Roman 1 they ask for the probability that the second ball is red so come here second ball is red will be this R2 and this R2 for this R2 the path was this so it will be 4 over 6 times 3 over 5 so I'll come here and say 4 over 6 times 3 over Five. another error 2 is here then that path is this and that so it will be 2 over 6 times 4 over 5 so I'll come and say 2 over 6 times 4 over 5 when I add this for this one when I multiply I'll get 2 over 5 and when I multiply this I'll get 4 over 15 
and when I add the 2 I'll get 2 over 3 and that will be the answer. Roman 2 they wanted the probability that both balls are black so it means that the first ball is black and the second ball is black. Therefore the probability will be 2 over 6 times 1 over 5. So come and write 2 over 6 times 1 over 5 to give you 1 over 15 and that will be the required probability. Now we shall go to problem 4. Two baskets A and B contain 8 green, 4 blue and 5 green, 10 blue balls respectively. A ball is randomly drawn from basket A and transferred into basket B. Full stop. A ball is then randomly drawn from basket B. Find the probability that it will be green. So the sketch is here. If you have your basket A. You pick a ball from basket A to basket B. And after that from basket B you pick a ball. So I can first pick a green ball from basket A put it in basket B, then after that I pick a green ball or a blue ball from basket B. Or I can first pick a blue ball from basket B and after that, sorry, I pick a blue ball to basket B, then after that I pick a green or blue from basket B. So now we shall see how the probabilities can be filled in the tree diagram. So this is basket A, we can pick, we shall first begin with this branch of picking green at first. So initially there are 8 green and 4 blue. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 green and 4 blue. And this branch says that I pick green and put it into basket B. So I'm going to pick green here. If I pick green, it means the probability will be 8 over 12 which is the total so I put here 8 over 12 then I'll take it now to basket B now basket B initially had 5 green so now it has 6 I'll put here 6 green and 10 blue that is why you see here 6 green and 10 blue therefore if I'm to pick green from here it will be 6 over 16 which is that 6 over 16 if instead I'm to pick blue, it will be 10 over 16, which is that 10 over 16. So that's how they fill this branch. Now shall I go to this whereby you have to first pick blue. Let's put back our green which we had taken here. That means these are 5 green like that. So if I pick blue, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4. So it will be 4 over 12 here. Now I've taken that blue this side. That means here blue will become 11. And therefore picking green from this basket. It will be 5 over 16. 5 over 16 there. If instead I pick blue it will be 11 over 16. 11 over 16. So that's how they can fill the tree diagram. The problem wanted the probability that the green ball picked from basket B is sorry the ball picked from basket B is green. And there are two cases there's this G2 to represent green and also this G2 to represent green. For this G2 the path is that which will be 8 over 12 multiplied by 6 over 16. So come here 8 over 12 times 6 over 16. Another path is this which is 4 over 12 multiplied by 5 over 16. Come here 4 over 12 times 5 over 16. So this first will give you 1 over 4 and this one will give you 5 over 48. When you add the 2 will get 17 over 48 and that's the answer they wanted. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Rower e-learning platform.